Welcome back to Nanalee the Dawn, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match. This time, a Silent Shadow versus Shadow One Sun, or Shatai Sun, or Shatal Sun. Please tell me how to pronounce your name. I honestly don't know. The one is confusing me. Anyhow, we are on Ravaged, which is one of my favorite maps, and actually a very popular map in general. Pretty good map, too. For those of you, well, I've said this before, this is very clearly Zelnaga Caverns from StarCraft 2, but adjusted for 0k. Anyhow, this is, well, pretty straightforward, really. Silent Shadow going for Cloaky, as is Shadow One Sun. This map, however, actually supports pretty much every factory quite well. It's flat enough to support vehicles, although admittedly, if you go for vehicles, you're liable to be terraformed out with the choke points. It's hilly enough to support jump bots and spider bots, especially going around the sides. You can get some really tricky plays going around the sides with Venoms or Redbacks. It can support air and gunship because you have this one choke point you can block off and then work from there. And pretty much every other factory is fairly straightforward, so yes, it supports those too. Like the Cloakybot factory, which both of the players are using today, though Shadow One Sun... Early Scythe! Interesting! Silent Shadow playing much more orthodox, but Shadow One Sun looks to be going for some early cheese. I don't know why they're planning on doing it on this map of all maps. I mean, even Gremlins are kind of hard to pull off, and Gremlins are just usually used for scouting at this point. Double Scythe? I honestly don't know what they expect to achieve here. I mean, I'm serious, I don't know what they expect to achieve. The best they might do is wipe out these early glaives, which will slow things down, giving Shadow One Sun a lot of room to breathe, but I don't know if they're planning on using it. For one thing, they don't have any workers coming up. They are getting some metal in, but yeah, no workers are coming up right now, so I don't really know what the point is. And at this point, some scouting has been done. I'm sure Silent Shadow is getting very suspicious as to what's going on, why there haven't been any attacks yet. And moving out will actually be... Okay, they will not be intercepting the sides. In fact, the sides now have a pretty free reign. They can rush in whenever they'd like. There's one glaive. There is, however, the commander, though, and it is a battle commander. 3,000 HP will be a problem. And... Mutual decloak. Well, got rid of the builder. That was actually a pretty good kill. Unfortunately for the sides, they need to get away. Because they need to cloak. So they can actually work their magic again. Because at this point... Well, at this point... Silent Shadow knows the game is up, and... Okay, what the... Why'd you attack there? No! Bad! Not what you wanted. Glaives can get away from sides. Sides lose to glaives. Sides lose in a straight... Well, okay, sides lose to glaives in groups, but... Mostly by cost. As you can see, sides are still pretty scary. And... Not getting away that easily. Silent Shadow does not want to let that get away, but... They are failing to do so. Shadow One's unable to successfully get that scythe away. Are they still just... Are they just going for builders? No, they're going back to glaives. Okay, after this builder, they will have glaives. Going back to conventional play. But the scythe doesn't really have much of a chance right now. I'm guessing what, what Shadow One Sun wanted to do is get into the base, rip apart the wind generators specifically. The metal extractors would be nice, but the wind generators are the main target. Kill those things. That would cripple Silent Shadow's economy. However, because of the fact that it got spotted out, that wasn't to be. I mean, still, that did speed things up. I mean, if one for the fact that Shadow One Sun didn't go for an expansion that quickly, that would have been really handy. At this point, Shadow One Sun's economy is a bit behind Silent Shadows, despite destroying that early worker. And that would have been a big deal, too, just by timings. I mean, for the glaives, like four glaives for one scythe, that's... I mean... It's not really worth it, since it was inside of Silent Shadows territory. But, hey, some harassment going on, at least. Getting rid of some workers here. Oh, is it getting rid of, another, get rid of another worker? Maybe. Yes, it does. And that glaive proving once again why that's a really bad idea. Because glaives. Although, oh. That! Okay, well, other than the Miss Micro. Now, here's where Silent Shadow needs to be able to buy some time. Unfortunately, Shadow Once on basic... Sorry. Shadow Once needs to buy some time. Actually, both are true. Shadow Once on just bought some time, but isn't really spending it. They have to deal with these glaives. And Silent Shadow, why are they going for the counterattack now? They had a great position. They were forcing Shadow One Sun to not get in, and now they've just pushed their glaze out. Like, Shadow One Sun's pretty much forced Silent Shadow out, and Silent Shadow didn't have to do that. They didn't even force them out. Silent Shadow just went too risky, and then they forced themselves out. Which is rather unfortunate, because at this point, Shadow One Sun, they know what was there. They knew they couldn't get out of there. And they had enough radar to know. And Silent Shadow also has their radar up, and the commander going up, because, well, at this point... Yes, at this point, you really want to have that there. That scythe 
You cannot let that scythe get in. And it, as you can see, Silent Shadow being quite cautious about that, moving their lotuses. I don't know that this is exactly enough for decloaking. No, I don't think Silent Shadow's going to get back in there anytime soon. I don't know that this is close enough to decloak anything that gets through, but it's probably. if, At the very best, the scythe might be able to thread the very in-between. I doubt that's going to happen. I think Shadow One Sun is pretty much locked out of Silent Shadow's base. Which kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, that scythe, I'd say, wasn't really worth it. Especially since at this point, Shadow One Sun has not expanded to these metal extractors, and Silent Shadow has. Despite all the harassment, Silent Shadow is pulling quite a ways ahead in economy. So Shadow One Sun right now, man, they're being very defensive. Finally expanding to those expansion points. I'm just surprised, and Silent Shadow continuing to try to hold off Shadow One Sun's advance. And Shadow One Sun really doesn't have much of a chance to get in. Oh, did Silent Sh Shadow see that? Oh, well, he might have. The scythe went and knocked down the trees. I think Silent Shadow hasn't seen that. No, uh, Silent Shadow cannot attack this. The warriors are in place, the defenders are in place, everything's in place. Defenses are too strong. I mean, Shadow One Sun actually does have this, I mean, does have the scythe. That, that option does exist. Did exist. The Lotus will soon destroy it. But I mean, hey, get rid of a handful of workers along the way. That's, I mean, that scythe has been doing a pretty decent job. It's just, it's been in a role where it requires that Shadow One Sun actually support it. Like, everything that happens afterwards needs to support that. And Silent Shadow turning the table, setting up their own sides, not making it clear either. Four, five, how many sides are coming in here? Five at first. So yeah, at this point, Shadow One Sun's now the one who has to deal with sides coming in here. However, I'm sure they'd be able to. I mean, th there is this one path over here that's a problem. And, ooh, those glaives. Well... At decent cost, got rid of one of the warriors, but really not enough. The thing is, the scythe can, can go up here. If it goes around the side, like this, and up the top, it sh they should be able to get in no problem. Should. Maybe. That's a bit of a risk. Like, that's a bit tricky to pull off, in all honesty. I, I don't know. Silent Shadow's pretty much got only that option. The only other options available are, of course, to go through here, which is death. Through here, which is death. Or up here, like I said, the original option, which is less death. Actually, from there, they could they could thread it through along the side and take out all the wind generators. That would hurt. Now, for those of you not familiar with the general advice, when attacking someone's base, it's best to go for energy because they can reclaim whatever metal you destroy, but they can't reclaim energy. So, I mean, they can if there's like trees and such nearby, which there is in this case, but they can't... Actually, those aren't reclaimable. Anyway, if their energy goes down, they need that to build, but they can't reclaim for it. So if you wipe out their energy, and unfortunately that... Oh, why do the sides reveal themselves? That must have been a mistake. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be... Is that going to be it? Well, one... One warrior down. No, these sides are pretty much dead. At best, this one will escape. This one right here will escape. That is the best that could happen. Oh no, two of them escaped. How about that? Well, at any rate, as I was saying, yeah, you want to kill the energy inside your opponent's base. On expansions, killing metal is fine because it's harder to reclaim. It's harder to make up for the lost metal in an expansion. But in the main base, where their commander is, where their caretakers, is, where they have most of their workers, yeah, kill the energy structures. That'll slow them down a lot longer than killing their metal. And with wind generators, that's a really juicy target. But at this point, Silent Shadow, they have a larger army by cost. They have... Wow, how many glaives do they have? So they got 23 glaives, and Shadow One Sun has... Four? Along with three sides. Which are not the only sides in the field. So we have five sides in... Oh no, six sides in total. We have a fourth one from... Yeah, fourth one from Shadow One Sun. So Shadow One Sun's still going for this particular strategy. You don't see sides a lot, honestly. This is something that is a little bit unusual. Silent Shadow's pretty well prepped for it, though. I mean, their main... This area here, this is not getting killed by anything. Nothing is going to be able to kill it other than an air unit, pretty much. Glaive would, theoretically, but no. No, that, that would kill the Glaive well in advance. I should be curious. Does this... Well, it might. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how that changes, how that benefits from range. Also a little bit hard to tell. It looks like it might. Anyway, 
The important thing is that Scythes can't kill it. That Stardust is way out of the way. Scythes can't kill it. Glaives probably can't kill it. Certainly can't kill it before they die. Rockos might be able to kill it. Warriors would not be able to kill it before they die. Scythes are the big thing, though. That's the biggest thing. Like, Shadow One Sun is prepped. They can handle Scythes. But Silent Shadow? I don't know if they can. I mean, at this point... Like I said, this northern section here is still pretty vulnerable. Their main base is very vulnerable. They have so many wind generators. This would be a very juicy target. If Shadow One Sun were to kill this, and a crow coming in because... What? Because we're playing a 1800 to 2000 LO game, so why not build a crow? Actually, to be perfectly honest, that's... I mean, if it works... <laughs> if it works, then you might as well. But honestly, Shadow One Sun's been playing super cheesy this whole game. I mean, opening with sides... Focusing on sides for the first five minutes of the game. They still don't have that many glaives. I don't even know if they have any glaives at the moment. I don't think they do. They have one. Yeah. They have exactly one, soon to be zero glaives. So I don't really know what they're planning on doing or why they were going for that. Maybe because they know about the elo difference. They figured they'd be a little bit cheesy and maybe. But this crow is going to be up quite quick. I mean, I'm not, I shouldn't really be laughing. It's actually coming up at a decent enough pace that it's probably... Oh, never mind. That was because of Reclaim. Okay, it is slower than I thought. General rule of thumb I give is if it takes longer than a minute, don't do it. Like, you aren't ready yet. You don't have the economy yet. Things like Crows, like really expensive Strider class stuff, I'd say two minutes. But this is well under that threshold. Well, assuming nothing else gets built in the process. But yeah, this... Like, okay, other stuff's being built. But yeah, like 45 seconds on... 67%. That would be a little over two minutes. That's relatively healthy. Yeah, that's just... That's a little unusual. It's a very, very chunky option. I... I don't know if I agree. Just given how spread out Shadow One... Sorry, how spread out Silent Shadow was right now, Shadow One Sun's gonna have a bit of a hard time dealing with this. I mean, if they attack the main base, maybe. But even then, the three brawlers coming in is gonna be a problem. Like, crows are extremely heavy, and there isn't... A, a crow against Shadow One Sun would be extremely powerful with all these wind generators the way they are. But against Silent Shadow? Probably not. These sides are doing okay, though. I, I wasn't entirely correct when I said that Silent Shadow was prepped for them. They're prepped for them everywhere except that base they just built. That's the one exception. And at this point, their commander... Is that commander gonna... That commander was not gonna die. It's got a... Yeah, it's got a heavy machine gun. And support forces coming into these sides. Running as they should. And not being chased either. It looks like Silent Shadow expected Shadow One Sun to attack, and that was a bit of a bad read. Or, to put it another way, that was a really good call by Shadow One Sun not to go for it. Obvious choice, and it would have been too obvious. Crow has been up for a little while now, and how is that going to fare? Well, drop it down at least. I mean, it's revealed itself, so it's not like it's going to do any real weird sneaky tactics here. And, of course, the Tridents will be coming up. That's exactly what you'd expect. Still, nice frontal assault force. I mean, at this point, Shadow One Sun and Sh Silent Shadow have an even value of army, but Shadow One Sun's army is extremely heavy. Like, it's... This crow is half of it. By value, this crow is half of it. Although, this is perfect! D-gun now! There we go, exactly what needed to happen. Shadow One Sun taking out everything here that matters. Opening the base up, and this might be game. The Trident is basically the only thing that was standing in the way. Now it no longer is. This Crow, I think, just won the game. Silent Shadow has lost most of their economy. They're about to lose their factory. That D-Gun charge is almost reloaded. Five seconds left, and then it's done. While at the same time, Shadow Sun coming in. This is... This is probably it. Counterattack here with Brawlers. Don't really see that doing much. And if there isn't much to really deal with it at the same time. It's just... Yeah, that Crow... Just D-Gun again. Take out the factory. There we go. There's the D-Gun. Could have taken out both factories, though. Not the best position, but it doesn't really matter. At this point, Silent Shadow doesn't have much that... That won the game. So, yeah, forget what I said originally. That won the game, but... At this point, Brawler counterattack... Not gonna work. Thanks to Tridents. Way too much time available for Shadow 1 Sun to prepare for that. Although the Crow... Well, it doesn't matter. At this point, does not matter. Silent Shadow throws in the towel. That was game. Shadow One Sun pulling that out. They were not in the best of spots. I mean, most of their army that they had could not deal with what Silent Shadow had. The, the sides weren't doing much. The glaives. 
they were kind of losing the glaive where they were keeping themselves alive, but not that well. And then, then the crow and no AA on Silent Shadow's side to deal with it. Pulled it, pulled it out. Although let's just check. I want to see. Oh wow, Shadow One Sun was accessing a fair amount. Mostly early on though. A little bit in mid game. Was that from? No, no huge shift in metal produced at that point. Yeah, so Shadow One Sun a little bit behind in metal for most of the game, and that didn't really seem to matter. Definitely was being very efficient. Built fear units killed far, far more units. Almost got one to one on built to kill, although it doesn't show cost. But yeah. That was that game, so the last game is going to be a bit more of a universally high level game. Golda versus El Torero, although I haven't seen El Torero play in a while, but yeah, Golda versus El Torero. This is going to be on Baron, and it's going to be up in about a couple minutes. Hopefully things don't load super slowly this time. Stay tuned for that, because it will be here. Eventually. <laughs>